coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. A restored Northrop N9M is destroyed in a California accident. Raven Alaska and UAA announce a paid internship program for Alaskan pilots. And a new Department of Defense study highlights the U.S. Air Force's pilot shortage. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. The last remaining Northrop N9M, restored and flown by the Plains of Fame Museum, was destroyed in an accident in Norco, California. After taking off from Chino Airport's 26 right runway, the aircraft crashed in a nearby prison yard, and the pilot, only identified as a 51-year-old man, died on impact. No other injuries were reported other than an inmate who received minor scratches from the incident, as well as some damage to outdoor exercise equipment. According to FAA records, the aircraft was originally built in 1945 and was bought by the Planes of Fame founder Edward T. Maloney in the 1950s. It took 13 years and around 20,000 volunteer hours to restore the plane, but in 1994 the restored aircraft took its first flight. All of us here at Aero News extend our condolences to the pilot's family and friends. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's Around the Patch. Hartzell Propeller added Legacy 4 blade structural composite propellers for Beechcraft 1900C and 1900D turboprop aircraft to the company's top prop lineup. Pricing for each propeller, including polished spinner assembly, is 68000 for the 1900C and 75000 for the 1900D. A civilian passenger aboard a French Rafale military jet was injured when his ejection seat activated and sent him through the canopy of the aircraft. The ejection seat blasted the passenger away from the aircraft before deploying its parachute. The passenger survived only suffering from minor back injuries. It's said that a lack of preparation is what caused the incident. The FAA has designated Kissimmee Gateway Airport as a national airport for general aviation. The upgrade comes from the number of jet and multi-engine aircraft based at the airport, as well as increasing activity levels. Flight Safety International has developed technology that integrates its mixed reality and vital 1100 visual systems into cockpit procedure trainers. Pilots will see and interact with actual instrumentation and controls of the CPT while viewing Flight Safety's Vital 1100 real-time imagery on a display. And that wraps up today's Around the Patch. When we return, Raven Alaska and the University of Alaska Anchorage announced a paid internship for Alaskan pilots. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. 
a new factor und einem globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Raven Alaska and the University of Alaska Anchorage developed a new program that trains pilots for first officer positions and pays them while they learn to fly. The paid internship program at UAA is the first of its kind in the nation and allows pilot candidates to complete their degree and be paid as a regional airline pilot. First year pay is around $36,000 and the program offers a $15,000 annual retention bonus bringing the compensation package to around $51,000. In their final semester, students will fly as full-time Raven First Officers. And when they get their degree, they stay on the job, with no break in service or time away from the cockpit looking for a job. The program is only open to residents of Alaska, and the university said if there's enough interest, the program could start as early as this fall. A new Department of Defense study highlighted the critical nature of the pilot shortage faced by the U.S. Air Force. While the Air Force and the Department of Defense are looking at this issue from all angles, it's going to be a long and expensive road ahead. Just last year alone, the Air Force was in need of about 2,000 pilots. Current requirements in the Air Force call for 800 active duty and 1,150 reserve pilots. An estimate from the RAND Corporation states the active duty pilot deficit will grow to over 1,600 by the year 2023. One of the biggest things the Air Force will be competing with is the 30,000 pilots that are retiring from commercial airlines by 2026 leading to a scramble for talent between the industry and the military. A recent RAND study shows the cost of training a qualified fighter pilot ranges from $5.6 million for an F-16 pilot to $10.9 million for an F-22 pilot. And that's it for today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. As always, don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And check out our website, aero-news.net, to get real-time 24-7 coverage on the latest aviation and aerospace stories. I'll see you tomorrow for an episode of the AMA Drone Report.